everyone, welcome to the next video from our Rita Berman um, uh, summer book and the ice cream page. We have quite a large, um, big ice cream to do today. I thought it'd be quite fun to do some strawberry sauce on the top to start with, so that's what I'm going to start with. Now it's a little tricky to get the colour exactly right with our ergos. Um, I think I'm going to try this um, pink. This is the um, number 25, and then I'm going to see what it looks like, really. Now, when we're doing a sauce, it's usually going to be quite thick um, and glossy. So I'm putting down quite a thick layer just to start with. Now, you can use um, white pen to add a shine to your sauce to make it look really glossy. With this hard pencil, we're not going to probably get that thicker a layer of pencil, and therefore, when you go over it with the white, it may not show up. Sun's just come out. I think we're okay. I'm just checking; it's not making its way all the way across the desk, so we're okay. It was really cloudy just now. I thought it was going to rain. We're not forecast any, but you just never know, do you? Particularly in the UK, the weather is so changeable. But uh, it's uh, we're making the most of today because it's a cool day. It's going to get hot after today, so it's quite fun colouring these um ices, ices, ice creams. I don't know what people call them. I was going to find out and I didn't. Um, whether in um the USA and in Australia you call them the same as we do. Um, popsicles, of course. Is that what you call ice lollies in America? Popsicles, or is that an is that a lollipop? Mm, I don't know. Well, sun's going to be going in and out, and in and out, and that. I'm wondering if that's going to affect the uh, quality of the video. So it's going to make me not be able to see very well because it's reflecting off. Hang on, reflecting off a white piece of paper on the desk. <laughs> it's hurting my eyes. Now, to me, that looks quite pastely, not really very sauce-like, so I'm going to go over it again. I'm still not going to make it mega dark, but I think particularly on the edges, it needs a touch more. Yes, yeah, so we're, we have had a heat warning from the UK Health Security Agency or something like that. I can't quite remember what it was saying that the temperatures on Tuesday are going to be so high that there is huge danger. So uh, it's we've never had a warning before of that severity in the UK. Fortunately, um, the temperature where I live is not forecast to get quite as high as in some other areas. So I'm just hoping that's going to stay the case. Although 36 degrees is still quite warm. And every day I check the weather because I don't like it hot and so I'm getting a bit paranoid. I need to stop really. Um, I'm getting worried about it. Paranoid isn't the right word. Um, apologies for that. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm getting worried about it. And um, so I keep checking. And um, I'm going to do some vanilla coloured ice cream, which we did before. Did we do it with this one? Did we do it with number one? Number 10? I'm going to try it with number 10. Um, every time I look, it seems to predict the temperature is going to be even higher. Every day it seems to go up by a degree. So when they were saying it was 33, I was quite worried about that. And now they're saying it's 36. Ugh. But anyway, we would just stay in our house, drink lots of water. I've already made some ice cubes while they're starting to freeze. I put some um, in the freezer and uh, we'll just have to manage, find a way. I think it'll be night time that's the worst. Now I'm pressing really lightly here because this is quite a lemony yellow and I don't want it to look lemon, I want it to look cream. But I think we've got there. Now there is usually a texture to ice cream. I'm not going to try and emulate that. 
Okay, the cone. Now this is a really interesting cone. It's drawn in such a a different way. Um, but I think we'll have to just we'll go for traditional cone colours. I think I'll do a lighter coloured cone because we've got another cone later which looks a bit more like a waffle cone. So I'll do this one a little bit more, a little bit lighter as I said. So I'm going to start with a 16, just do a coating of colour all over it and then we'll try and add some, add some other colours to it. So I'm holding my pencil quite low down away from the tip and uh, using the side of the pencil of the lead so that we get a lightish coat, um, covering and it's easier to get it more even. I'm not worrying too much about the direction of my strokes, sometimes I do, but here I'm just not too worried because I'm going to be using more colour later. The sun's gone back in. That was very short-lived, wasn't it? Um, and number 49 I'm going to use to try and add a bit of depth. So I'm thinking this bit around the edge, maybe this is sticking out a little bit, so if I put a bit of shadow all the way along. So if you hear a banging, pipes banging, I put my dishwasher on and it, it tend to bang. And then when the plumber comes, when we're having our kitchen done, I'm going to mention it to him, see if it's something that can be fixed. Okay. Now, on each of these, I'm going to put a little bit around each of these. As well. Try and make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be, but I'm just going to try. It's fun. I haven't forgotten those little circles on the top. I'm having a think. Now, I've tried to, tended to keep everything quite the same colours, you know, because I'm thinking often sprinkles are sort of multicoloured, but we haven't done any multicoloured sprinkles yet. And maybe we should for this one. Maybe I'll pick a few different colours. They, although they sort of look like they're silver balls. I don't know if you've ever had those absolutely revolting. <laughs> sugary silver balls which are white inside and have a sort of bit of an aniseed in them and they're so hard that you think you're going to break your teeth when you crunch them maybe you're supposed to suck them I don't know but anyway I don't I don't like them did you gather that from what I said <laughs> right um could do more with that I'm tempted just to leave it like that Let's do the little balls and let's do them as silver and I'll show you how I am going to do them. I'm going to use the darker grey which is number 8 and I'm going to go put quite a dark bit around the edge and then let's towards the centre, sort of fade it. Shouldn't, should really leave a bit of white I would think to make it look properly silvery. I'm not really succeeding. Maybe we'll use a white pen. I'm gonna I know I haven't done any background ones before, but this one really looks like it's part of this picture to me. Right, I'm going to use some white pen on this one. Oh, I've got an itchy eye. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use a white poster. Let's give me a little shake up. This is the white poster that I like using. Now, I'm going to add a bit of shine on each of our silver balls. I know we haven't added pen on any of the others, but like this one needs some. Try and make it look shiny by adding some white. Go up there too. It's faded quite a bit, hasn't it? Sometimes the um, paint gets a little bit watery 
it doesn't really show up, that's better. And also if you don't colour, put down a very thick layer of colour, which I haven't, sometimes it just sort of disappears into the white of the paper. But I think that's better. So there is our cone. It's a little bit wonky. There we go. Now you could do a little bit more darker colour into the actual um, cone part, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it like that because, as I say, the next one, like tomorrow's video actually, will have a cone which is going to be a bit darker. So I just want them to look a little bit different from each other. And this one looks very light compared to either of the other two. So that's what I want. So there we go. So that's a sort of ice, um, vanilla ice cream with strawberry sauce and silver bowl so I hope that was okay um, thank you so much for watching um, I know that was short today but there'll be another one tomorrow um, thank you and I uh, hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring <laughs>